Hello everyone, welcome back again. Uh, as on last lecture we have told, in this session we are going to discuss about some modern sensors. Okay? So actually there are number, actually most of the sensors are sensors by uh, material, but we had done some, in, in some engineering. Okay? But here some sensors are by using some materials and there are some sensors by using some engineering. Okay. So here you can see we are going to discuss our temperature sensor, a number of way of temperature sensing. Okay, then proximity, then smoke and gas, then voltage sensor, after that humidity sensor, then touch sensor, gyroscope, accelerometer, brake beam, fingerprint sensor, and lidar. Okay, so let us start with temperature sensor. So you can see here a number of way to sense the temperature. Okay, you can see here one is resistance temperature detector. That means there are some material, metallic material that can sense the temperature directly. That means that got activated according to the temperature, or you can say it uh, changed its characteristic according to the temperature. Okay, very quickly, and then we talk. We are going to. Uh, show you about thermal couple. Thermal couple actually junction. You can see here they are a junction of two different type of uh, material. And when it got temperature on that junction, it produce a voltage different different difference. Okay, you can see here very little amount of. You can see in the picture one point five three millivolt. Okay, just like a microphone. Okay, so in microphone you can also find there are very little amount of voltage fluctuation. So, just a very simple, very easy, low cost sensor can be designed by using this kind of thermal couple. Okay, but for information, this sensor is very good for a uh, very high amount of temperature, like more than one hundred. And also, one is thermostat. Okay, which is actually a Temperature sensing register. Okay, so you see there are some applications of these kind of registers. Okay, it's a register that means the resistance change depend on the temperature. Okay, so there are some application. One is PTC that means positive temperature coefficient. Another way is self-regulating heating equipment or negative temperature coefficient. This kind of application or in this kind of application. Uh, Temperature sensing or tem thermistor can be used. Okay, and at the end we can see semiconductor based temperature sensor used inside the IC. Okay, as I told you, inside the IC there are a number of uh, actually se semiconductor is a is a excellent material. Okay, or excellent not material we can say excellent engineering where we could do a lot of things. We can make the gates. We can make the digital circuits. We can make the processor. So when we are making our processor by using a semiconductor, it's easy to build a temperature sensor by using the same material. Okay, so it's widely used in uh, processors, okay, or ICs, okay, in the integrated circuits, or very compact place, okay, where it's required. So uh, here some people can get confused uh, with the RTD and the thermistor. Okay, so here is a, a small difference. RTD resistor are pure metal, okay, and thermistor are made with polymer or ceramic materials. So it's about the materialistic difference. Okay, one is made by pure metal, as I told you on previous lecture. Okay, a previous uh, slide: platinum, copper, nickel, nickel ion. These are used for sensing the temperature. Okay, for RTD and for thermistor. We use polymer and ceramic material. So the main difference is the material. Okay, we use in in two purpose or two application. We use two different type of uh, different type of materials. Okay, that is the main difference. So you can see it's very easy to build a temperature sensor. It's very easy to use temperature sensor. So temperature sensor is widely using in our current world everywhere. You can see in the uh, in the television also, maybe the, in the processor area, there is a temperature sensor. In of course, our, uh, our, our mobile phone, our computer, everywhere, okay, for uh, when the processor got temperature, 
Making the heat in our in our car inside our car. Okay, almost uh, inside our air conditioner everywhere we are using temperature sensor. Cheap and also useful, very very useful. Okay, and most of the material around us are temperature sensitive. Most of the material. Now the proximity sensor. Proximity sensor means how close are two things is like here is the one one thing there is another thing how close it is okay so that is the proximity so when it is very near to it or it's a bit far from it there are a number of way one is inductive sensor another one is capacitive uh, proximity sensor one is photoelectronic sensor another one is magnetic sensor okay so all of these things are uh, how to say measuring the closeness of two things okay so let us talk with about uh, proximity sensors in proximity sensor uh, in inductive sensor in inductive sensor you can see measures metal magnetic field from inductive coil so it's mainly used to identify the metal okay like uh, when you use this kind of proximity sensor when any metallic things is moving when the metal will come very closer to it, it will activate. Okay, the uh, magnetic field will be will will cut. Okay, so the voltage difference will be changed. Okay, so then it will identify. Okay, one metallic thing is crossing. Then another metallic thing is crossing. Then another metallic thing is crossing. Okay, so by using uh, magnetic field, it is sensing the proximity. Okay, it's also commonly used. Then the capacitive sensor you know what happened what is the capacitance okay there are two metal two, two, two metal and there is a air gap here so when the gap increased the capacitiveness increased okay when the yeah, space is decreased the capacitive uh, amount of capacitance is decreased okay so by using this characteristic proximity can be measured okay so Two, there are two, uh, how to say, two metallic part. One part is getting closer. If you push here, it will get closer to the other part. So the amount of air space will decrease. And when you release that one, the amount is increased. So it will detect whether you pushed here. That means whether the it came closer to this part or not. Okay. So by using this technique, capacitive can be changed. Okay. So you can understand there are two parts. Here is the air, you can see air, air, air. So when these two come closer, the amount of charge decreased. Oh, sorry, amount of charge decreased. Okay. So it will produce us less voltage. Okay, so that is the concept of capacitive uh, proximity. Okay. Then there are some other way. One is photoelectronics. Okay, so of course there are photosensitive uh, material. We know one is IR, another one is uh, LDR. Okay, so one light will, how to say, uh, one light will turn on, and the intensity of by measuring the intensity of light, it can sense how far it is or how close it is. Okay, that is very commonly used in lidar or this kind of. Uh, application okay uh, there are a lot of applications so usually it used for counting the product like one is he, this side like li li like this you can see okay i think i think you can see here okay you can see here there is a light so if something if my hand is sensing the light then if something cross between these two then we can measure how many uh, things went down okay or by using the intensity, you see when the when when I am increasing, when I am make uh, keeping it closer, the light intensity is increasing, and when I keeping it far, then the intensity is decreasing. Okay, so by using by measuring this thing, the proximity also can be measured. That means the distance also can be measured. Now the magnetic proximity sensors, as I told you on few slides back, there is a read switch. So one read switch is inside one. Uh, one part and in another part there is a fixed magnet. So when that magnets came closer to the read switch, the read switch turned on. Okay, so you can say the door is closed. Okay, when the door is open, it go far. It switch off. Okay, you can say the door is closed open. Okay.
Okay, so we can use this very very cheap sensor. Okay, or this technique is very very cheap technique. So a, a number of places only five to ten taka can be used to implement these kind of sensors. Okay, so I have seen a number of doors, a number of cabinet uh, drawer. Okay, where uh, people use these kind of sensors, like whether my door is closed or not, whether my almira is closed or not, or uh, even uh, IoT system can be also can be developed. Okay, who or when I open my closet or when I open the drawer, it can also be counted. Okay, so this is a very very cheap and very useful sensor. Then the inductive coil, as I told you on last uh, slide, this, that is also another example of uh, measuring the proximity. Then IR. Okay, this this type of sensor, as I told you again in few slides back, like it used for uh, it, it you it, it just measure the intensity like how much light is coming back after reflecting you can see here it's reflected by something and it's coming back okay so how much light is coming back okay it depends on the color it depends on the material okay but the proximity can be sensed okay for information ir sensor cannot sense too far it can it can measure uh, according to my knowledge till now only 10 centimeter uh, maximum can be measured by using ir sensor okay and there is another laser sensor okay laser sensor is like the same thing as i told you a uh, few times back like by using this laser and there is a laser sensor so laser is reflecting from something and some some other part is measuring that thing okay so by using this thing uh, proximity can be measured okay so there are a number of ways so when you will according to your application when you develop an application you will take your decision of what kind of proximity sensors you're going to use in your application now there is another way to measure the proximity okay microwave proximity sensor you can see here it's called doppler effect okay doppler effect means like when some uh, when when one, one speaker is giving a regular sound You can, you, can, you can understand by this figure when a speaker make like this kind of sound but when something is moving toward this direction moving toward this direction this signal will become a bit different like instead of this shape it will become a bit shorter since since it's moving this way okay in the opposite way when it goes back that means the signal will become a bit bigger like instead of this thing will become like this bigger okay so by measuring this doppler effect we can even calculate or even we can even measure whether the thing is moving forward or moving backward okay of course we can measure the uh, distance and in the same time we can also measure the movement or like which way it's moving okay so this is very very interesting uh, sensor and the interesting technique to measure the movement of a uh, object okay now a smoke detector actually in a smoke detector it uses radioactive material so very very tiny americium 241 material is used inside the uh, how to say uh, inside the sensor okay so it's always diffuse the uh, radioactivity but when the smoke come okay the activity changed okay so the conductivity changed when the conductivity changed we can measure it okay and this is very very cheap and widely used okay very low amount of power is required and most of the cases the bazaar is also built inside it okay so it's a standalone system okay you don't need to have any connection you just need to use some battery inside it and uh, it can be used for a long time okay so very very useful and how to say cheap smoke sensor is here okay